Hello, my dear friends. There's this awesome person and designer called Mark Edwards. He's the director and lead designer at Django. Uh, if you are not familiar with his work, I really, truly recommend you to do it. So he wrote this blog post uh, a while ago now, where he shares some cool tips on how to create a really nice and large color palette from a few base colors using Photoshop. So, of course, I try to do the same using this little app called, and you guessed it, called Sketch. And it's really easy and fast to do, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. This is basically a part of this awesome post by Mark from Photoshop to Sketch. So, all of the credit goes to him. I'm just sharing information and trying to help a few folks along the way, just as it helped me. So, here's how you do it. I'm going to open a new file, right? And the first thing to do is to pick a few base colors that we want to work with. And there are a lot of apps, really good apps, that can help you with that using math and all of that black magic to give you really soothing and nice colors. And I sometimes use this uh, personal favorite of mine called Spectrum, and it's this one right here. Uh, I talked about it on episode 10, uh, links in the show notes. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to pick just these uh, three colors. So I'll create uh, three squares and put them side by side, right? And I'm going to make them rather big. So yeah, 500 pixels, sounds good. Uh, and you'll see why I'm making them this big uh, in the end. So I'm gonna make these three squares, put them side by side, right? Like so. And, and we pick our three colors. I'm gonna remove the border. Now for the first one, let's give him this red. The second one, let's give him the blue, and this one, this little purple. All right, so these are our uh, base colors, right? So now what we're gonna do for this next step is to create these uh, new layers, and we are going to divide our squares in three new shapes, like horizontally, and we'll keep the one will keep the same, the one on top we are going to make it lighter, and the one on the bottom darker. So this is how you do it. I'm going to create another shape, right? To go across all the three squares and I make them, well, 500 divided by three, all right? So this is one. I'm going to make one on the bottom. Get rid of the borders. So as I told you, this one is going to be to make the our original colors lighter. This one we're going to keep the same, and the one at the bottom darker. To do that, uh, let's just get, fill it with a white color, this one, and give it something like 20% uh, opacity. That works. And the one at the bottom, let's give them the same opacity, but this time I'm going to make them black. Right? And just like this, we have uh, three different uh, shades of our original colors. So that's awesome. Right? This is cool. Uh, then the third and final step, and you can already tell that this is rather quick to do, is now to create another two layers. This one we're going to divide our original square uh, vertically. And, and let's do that right now. So 500 pixels high. And with, let's divide that by three. Okay. Two layers. Let's remove the border. And this time, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pick some uh, vibrant color, something like this yellow, all right? But for this one, I'm going to make it 40% uh, opaque. And for the second one, let's make it 80% opaque, something like that. And here's the trick. You're going to select both. And I'll use this overlay uh, blend mode, okay? So uh, from this uh, drop down, you see blending choose overlay and that gives us this brighter and more vibrant colors so I'm just gonna pick these uh, two shapes and I'm gonna copy duplicate and put them here there it is it's in the right place and that's it we have now a large and awesome color palette just for these uh, three basic colors. 
And the reason that I made it this big is that now I'll create an artboard for it. So press A. I'm going to pick this something like that. All right. And I'm going to call this artboard uh, color palette. All right. Actually, let's make that right. Okay, and, and now uh, we, I can quickly zoom out wherever I'm working on my project. I can quickly zoom out and grab a particular color from the palettes, uh, like so. Imagine that I'm going to uh, work on this uh, website, right? So here I am working on a website and I'm going to do some header and I can quickly zoom out and with a keyboard shortcut control C, quickly grab a color from my color palette. That's why I made it this big, just to be easier to zoom out and quickly grab the color. Uh, there's no other real reason for it. So there you go. You can see how handy this is. Uh, again, zoom out. You can press command one to zoom and zoom out to still fit all of the artboards and all the elements uh, on the canvas. So uh, quickly keyboard shortcut control C to grab, pick a color there right pretty awesome all right guys this is it uh, just uh, three quick announcements all right so first uh, i've started working on a couple of topics that are on in the roadmap page and i just ask you for your patience because let's just say that um, they need a lot of preparation and work before i even start recording so like making some mock-ups uh, doing a lot of research for some of them and whatnot. So I'm working on them. They just might take a little while before they're ready. Second, uh, I have a really cool guest uh, recording something for us as we speak. Well, as I speak, uh, I assume you're not speaking, but you could be speaking, but then I can assure you that he's recording while you're speaking because I don't know uh, when you're watching. Well, <laughs> so you can count on an awesome guest post in the near future. All right. And third, and the most special for me, on the 25th of September this month, I'm going to be on the Sketch Meetup in Paris alongside uh, Mangto, the awesome dudes behind Sketch App Sources, and a lot of more cool folks. So I invite everyone to try uh, and come. Uh, I'll get you a beer or a cup of coffee or just water, whatever you want. So uh, all, uh, I'm going to put on the show notes, I'm going to put the link for that meetup so you can uh, know a little more about it. And thanks a ton. I'll talk to you soon. Rafa out.